Zerach, Ecclesiasticus, 50. Shimon, the high priest, the son of Oniyahu, who in his life repaired the house again and in his days fortified the temple. And by him was built from the foundation the double height, the high fortress of the wall about the temple. In his days, the cistern to receive water, being in compass as the sea, was covered with plates of brass. He took care of the temple that it should not fall and fortified the city against besieging. How was he honored in the midst of the people in his coming out of the sanctuary? He was as the morning star in the midst of a cloud and as the moon at the full. As the sun shining upon the temple of El Elyon and as the rainbow giving light in the bright clouds, and as the flower of roses in the spring of the year, as lilies by the rivers of waters, and as the branches of the frankincense tree in the time of summer, as fire and incense in the censer, and as a vessel of beaten gold, set with all manner of precious stones, and as a fair olive tree budding forth fruit, and as a cypress tree, which grows up to the clouds, when he put on the robe of honor and was clothed with the perfection of glory. When he went up to the holy altar, he made the garment of holiness honorable. When he took the portions out of the priest's hands, he himself stood by the hearth of the altar, compassed about as a young cedar in Lebanon, and as palm trees compassed they him round about. So were all the sons of Aharon in their glory, and the oblations of Yahuwah in their hands, before all the assembly of Yashar'el. And, finishing the service at the altar, that he might adorn the offering of El Elyon El Shaddai. He stretched out his hand to the cup and poured of the blood of the grape. He poured out at the foot of the altar a sweet-smelling savor unto El Elyon, king of all. Then shouted the sons of Ahran, and sounded the silver trumpets, and made a great noise to be heard, for a remembrance before El Elyon. Then all the people together hasted and fell down to the earth upon their faces to worship their Yahuwah, Sevaoth, El Elyon. The singers also sang praises with their voices. With great variety of sounds was there made sweet melody. And the people besought Yahuwah, El Elyan, by prayer before him that is merciful, till the psalmity psalm of Yahuwah was ended, and they had finished his service. Then he went down and lifted up his hands over the whole assembly of the children of Yashara'el to give the blessing of Yahuwah with his lips and to rejoice in his name. And they bowed themselves down to worship the second time that they might receive a blessing from El Elyon. Now therefore, bless ye the Elohim of all, which only does wondrous things everywhere, which exalts our days from the womb and deals with us according to his mercy. He grant us joyfulness of heart, and that peace may be in our days in Yashara'el forever, that he would confirm his mercy with us and deliver us at this, rather, at his time. There be two manner of nations which my heart abhors, and the third is no nation. They that sit upon the mountain of Shomoron, 
and they that dwell among the Pelishtim, and that foolish people that dwell in Shechem. Yahusha, the son of Sirach, of Yahushalayim, has written in this Sefer the instruction of understanding and knowledge, who out of his heart poured forth wisdom. Blessed is he that shall be exercised in these things, and he that lays them up in his heart shall become wise. For if he do them, he shall be strong to all things, for the light of Yahuwah leads him, who gives wisdom to the righteous. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah forever. Amen, amen. A prayer of Yahusha, the son of Sirach. <laughs>